Hi there, I'm Mary Kitchen for Red Carpet Diary here at the Visa Screening Room at the Toronto International Film Festival. I'm awaiting the arrival of Oscar-winning writer and director Paul Haggis at the North American premiere of his new film, In the Valley of Ella. Paul Haggis brought his first feature-length film here to the Toronto International Film Festival. Crash premiered here at the Visa Screening Room and went on to win Best Picture. There's a lot of pressure, but it's not, it's not because of Oscars and things like this. It's just because uh, you're opening a film. And, uh, you know, I'm so damn close to this thing, I don't know what it is. Uh, and, but you want it to be uh, truthful. You want it to be a truthful experience. It's a hard experience, but, but I want it to be uh, the truth of what's happening to our men and women and the truth of what's happening to America. So hopefully we've captured that. It was incredible. I mean, uh, I, I went in and uh, auditioned for the role initially. I had a callback for it. And then I, when I went in for my callback, they asked me to read for a different part. And, and so I did. And I walked out thinking that, well, that was fun. I, got I made a callback on a Paul Haggis movie, you know, and, and uh, when I got the call a couple hours later saying it was done, uh, it, it's just, the, the whole thing's just been so surreal. This character is uh, similar to me. Uh, they kind of have the same kind of background. Uh, this character was difficult. Um, I wanted to play him kind of with a human side of a guy who was kind of torn of what the right thing was, kind of wanted to change his old ways. I think that the conflict is what's interesting to watch, and I think as an actor, when, if, you, if you find the deep-rooted conflict of what's going on, then I, I think that, you know, that's, 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 all of, that's, that's the best thing to play, that's the best thing to do, yeah. There's a lot of background noise going on when we were shooting that scene, you know, concrete across the street, you know, all sorts of stuff. So we were having to do it a bunch of different times, and I hadn't had the experience acting, you know, so I, we were having to do it so many times, I, was, I stopped in between takes and I asked Tommy, I said, hey, uh, Tommy, what do you do to make it seem as real, you know, every time when you have to do it 30, 40 times, you know, we didn't do it that many times, but, you know, when you have to do it so many times, and he said, well, uh, do theater. And that kind of didn't really help me out at the time, you know, to, to you know, go do, uh, you know, theater. I couldn't go do a play in between takes. Thanks to the Toronto Film Festival for having me back. Uh, it is the best festival in the world. Uh, we started out, uh, when I started to see some really troubling videos on the internet, about things that our, our men and women were shooting in Iraq, and uh, these images were, were haunted me. And then I found the story of uh, Lanny and, and Remy Davis's search for the truth of what happened to their son. And though I fictionalized it, uh, they they remain uh, they made my personal heroes in this. And uh, I dedicate this to son. So Lanny and Remy, you can stand up. Check out our in-depth interview with writer-director Paul Haggis on Red Carpet Diary. At the In the Valley of Ella premiere here at the Visa Screening Room, I'm Mary Kitchen.